You are Idochi in tears. I don't have any house to sleep in. It begs for public help. Breaking news. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular YouTube channel. You know, when I heard this particular news, after I got the information from some family members and uh, from just lovers, uh, this thing, you know, I started laughing. I started laughing so hard. You know, you know, Idochi has been living in pretense for over how many years now? That is, that, that is something people don't understand. Uh, people don't value what they have until they lose it. People don't value what God gave to them until they lose it. That is when they will understand the value and how precious what they had. You know, no, you, you know the teacher have been coming out online and be bragging and he owns the house. Every now and then you, do, you see him taking his camera, doing videos in his house, bragging, snapping his house, saying this and that. Bragging unnecessary when he was not the one that even built the house. You know, it is very laughable. Bragging unnecessarily. I've said it that I've not seen a kind of uh, a, a type of woman like me, Doji. Despite the fact that me, Doji contributed more than ninety-five percent of everything that was used to build that particular house, you will never see that woman open her mouth to say anything about that house. She just allowed her husband to take the glory. Meanwhile, she was the one through her real estate. She owns a real estate and other business deal that she, she is doing with her brothers and other. She sacrificed, she got the land, she built the house. But you will never see that woman one day, any day, bragging or even making mad that she was the one that built the house. But you know, the teacher had been all over the internet since how many years bragging. And it was because of this same house. You know, the funny thing about life is life has a way of doing its things. It is, it is because of this house that Jane Austen and her entire family threw away Mr. Bassey. Ah, who is Mr. Bassey? Mr. Bassey doesn't have the kind of house you know, the teacher has. That, that was the main reason Jude Austin and her parents, her mother in particular, ran after you know, the day. She said, ah, we've caught a big fish. Oh. This, this man, this man is, a, is a big fish. He has a house. He's popular. He's from the Dutchies. Ah. You know, when Jude Austin's mother heard about it, she jumped up that they've actually succeeded, that their financial problems are over. You know? And this is what is making me to laugh. Because they, the level they placed you know, the day is not where you know, the day was or is. He, he has been packaging himself. He has been pretending. You, you know, it is now that everything has actually been exposed. Did us his mother run up in joy, you know, that their daughter has brought our court a bigger fish. Their mother said, ah, who is Mr. Bassett? Threw away Mr. Bassett. Even they want Mr. Bassett not to come to their house again. Meanwhile, if you, you people should remember that it was Mr. Bassett that have been taking care of Did us and her parents, so... It was Mr. Bassett that, take, that took Jit Austin out of the village where she was living about with village boys and all that and brought her to the university in any way they trained her. It was why in the university that Jit Austin came in contact with Taylor Dutchie. Jit Austin's mother knew that Jit, that Jit Austin was married to Mr. Bassett and to uh, May Dutchie. Jit Austin's mother knew that Jit Austin had kids that are already grown. But because they are desperate and they are greedy, they are after Jit Austin's wealth, Jude Austin's mother and father, they jumped up in happiness and threw away Mr. Bassey. But now, look at what is happening. What the, we are running after. Jude you know, Austin does not have anything. Money, Jude you know, does not have house. He doesn't have the car that he was he's riding. And I told you guys, it was the car that the uh, Adam Brassett gov gov government gave to him when he wanted to enter into politics. Apart from that, Jude you know, cannot... When last, you could see celebrities buying car now and then. When last did he change his car? That car has stayed for more than three years. It's just as simple as that, you know. Immediately, Meiduchi stopped funding his extravagant and luxurious lifestyle. See what see, see what has happened to him. See what has happened to him. See how a man has belittled himself. Now you, the teacher, is crying all over the internet space, begging. I don't have a house to sleep in. You know, it is very funny. When people don't appreciate what God gave to them, they will cry and they will regret their actions. And this is just what is happening to you, the teacher. Meiduchi for one day did not brag. She did not chase you away. The only reason Meiduchi did what she did. If you were Meiduchi, you would do it. Everybody would do it. How can a man forcefully want to bring in another woman into, in, into a house that you suffer to build? This man did not contribute a dime. You know, the did, not, did not contribute up to 5%. And you had the F-3 to cheat and betray your wife. And he had the F-3 to want to bring in this woman into, your, into, into a house that you did not build. My dear, nobody will tolerate such. No matter how calm and how loyal you are, and loyalty, you know, loyalty has an end. There is, a, there is an extent you will be loyal to somebody. You say no, or no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Me, Dutchie cannot tolerate that. He has a house that I built. 
painstaking i suffered and did everything through my real estate estate you went and cheated it a lady that has been married before gave birth you went and paid the lady's bride price without my knowledge and now you want to forcefully bring in the lady into the house it will never happen that is why me and said no after the death of Kambele Chuku, because after the death of Kambele Chuku, me Edochi was still thinking that her husband will return back to his senses. That this woman is bringing a lot of bad omen to this particular family. But when it was obvious that Yolo is not coming back to his senses, me Edochi said no. He went to a federal high court in Lagos State and, you know, ensured that the court viewed everything to her because she had the original uh, documents and certificates of that particular house. The court gave her everything. I, I, I must really appreciate that smart move because everybody in, in our situation or position will still do the same. Because you know, the teacher might wake up one day and take the, the documents of that particular house and sell off the house or probably will it with, with Austin. Now you know, the teacher is crying. If you go to call, you know, the teacher is crying and begging for money. If you people don't know, if you watch the recent videos that you know, the teacher has been uploading, the one that he has been uploading with Jude Austin, unnecessary fake argument that he has been having with Jude Austin. It is in one particular local house in Enugu State. He, he, he doesn't have any house now, so he's staying in Enugu State. That is why he's uploading those videos to see if he can make money online, you know, through people's clicks and all that, to see if he can make money because endorsement deals are not coming. Endorsement deals are not coming because no reasonable brand will come and use Jude Austin as the ambassador. It's not possible. Star Laga, they even removed him from, and he and everybody, they removed him from their ambassador deal. His movie career, nobody even, when you see you, the bitches movie, people are no longer impressed because he has killed his movie career. Politically, his career is dead. So he had no other way of making money, and now he doesn't have a home. So he's trying to raise money. That's why I told the guy, he's begging the public. That is why he's uploading unnecessary funny videos of himself and all that to raise money. How has the mighty fallen? I don't have a house to sleep in. This is what he's confessing, and he thinks that we will not know about it. You know, I'm laughing. I'm laughing at him because he brought this upon himself. It's not like me, but just chased him away. No. But he brought this upon himself. He brought this shame upon himself. Well, I want you guys to drop a comment and tell me what, what you think about this whole entire incident and how Yellow Dutch has belittled himself and fallen from grace. Please don't subscribe to my channel. Don't want to click on the notification button so I can notify whenever I drop any important video like this.